Hello, Colin here, House Tricks. The key. I'm going to show you the trick and then I'm going to tell you about the trick. I have trouble finding my keys. I always lose them. So I've got a little key ring, but it's not an ordinary key ring, it's a magical key ring. So um, let me show you what I mean. If, well, you really should look at the key ring first. Um, I want you to examine that and make sure it's kosher. And of course, have a little look at the key, make sure everything's tickety-boo. Assuming that's done, we'll carry on. Now, I usually get a gentleman to hold on to the key ring, the one that he's examined. Hold it tight, sir, and watch the little key. Let go of the key ring, let go of the key, and it's on, the key ring. If you want to take it off, you have to blow, and uh, it comes apart. That is the key, the mystery. Let me show you a little blow, and there you go, a key on a key ring. Now we're going to pause for a second, but I must warn you that I'm going to tell you what I really think about this trick. And I may use one or two rude words. So uh, if you don't want to hear, leave now. Hello, Colin here. I told you, I'll tell you about the key. Now this is just my personal opinion. I've got no axe to grind. I bought the trick in good faith. I was very, very disappointed. It arrived in a lozenge tin. When I was a kid, we used to buy um, licorice imps. They were all sweeties and they came in a tin like this. Uh, the, the imps in the tin cost three P. Thruppence, that's one and a half P. Not even a, well, not even a shilling. That's what it came in. What did I get? Two keys in a little polythene bag. And also in the bag, one was a, a, a normal key, one was a gaff key. Um, in the bag were, three little bands that you use uh, to replace. Three, three bands. Now for the price of the trick, those bands must cost about 10 pence each. If you compare it with the bands you get um, in my uh, key in bottle, which you can see on um, uh, big, big um, opener, that costs a tenner for the two keys and a big bag with about five or six of these bands in. I got three. So I opened it up looked at the ungaff key, looked at the gaff key, the gaff key fell to pieces because the band inside was so rotten it had broken up and I thought oh well you know one of those things I put a new band on I knew knew how to do it and it wouldn't go and I looked at the key very closely at the gaff key and I realized that it had been packed for such a long time or the quality control was so bad that the band had, the band had actually rotted and there were little bits of it inside the key. So I had to put the key in boiling water, get a pin, clean it all out before I could even put it together to do the trick. Now, um, the uh, instructional DVD is very well made, very nice. Um, they've got a whole section on telling you how you can't use uh, certain rings, which really, really defeats the object of the trick. Um, and of course, borrowing a ring nowadays can be a bit iffy because people are litigious. So if, if a lady lends you a ring and it's a diamond ring and uh, she can say, oh, there's a diamond missing, you're deep in it. So uh, that's why I use a key ring. They don't provide you a key ring. Of course, you have to go out and buy that. Uh, big surprise. So um, that's the key. It's a puzzle. It's, it's quite pleasant. Big deal for what you're paying for it. What's it worth? Well, I think it's worth a quarter of what you're paying. If I paid £25 for this, that would be high. Paying what they charge is extortion. And, um, oh, the other thing was I had to file the key, the fake. It was rough on the edges. So what's the thing you should learn? Two things. First, think very carefully before you buy a trick and never shop when you had a couple of drinks. Otherwise, you'll end up with a piece of crap like this. Marks out of 10. I always mark out of 10. For the effect, it's a good effect. It's worth a five, maybe six. Um, value for money, I'm not even gonna mark it. I think it's so bad. Um, they should send me back. If you're watching this, whoever sells this trick, 
you know who I mean. Um, three quarters of the money back, I'll be waiting and pigs might fly. Now remember, this is my opinion. You might think it's the best thing since sliced bread, in which case you should get out more. But from Colin, the key, I swear on my book, I'll give it a big fat, in fact, it's a real bomber. That's my opinion, TTFM.